if I could choose a celebrity pair, it'd be probably Sierra, because I like the way she cuts her hair. It's a bit cliche, but if I had to choose a celebrity, I would say Lauren Hill. I'd probably choose Beyonce's hair. Her hair's so nice. Give me a second. Oh, I know who. I would have Kerry Washington's hair. like European hair. You can have good hair and for me it's if it's strong that's the main part. And the hair I'm rocking today is box braids and they're done by applying the hair with extensions. Just the number one all over. <laughs> Just the number two. When you go to the barber shop, especially the barber shop, you ask which number you want. Number one, number two, number three. So right now I'm rocking a number two, which is short, but you can see it, that, that, that I have hair. I'm rocking a pick and drop. <laughs> I really like Beyonce. Beyonce, she's gone blonde. And Sierra went blonde as well, so I thought, why don't I try it? Basically, you get a piece of extension and you plait it to your hair halfway, then you tie it and then you leave the rest to drop. Pick and drop. Okay. A few years ago, I decided to go natural and um, after some time it, it, it became really difficult for me so I wanted to find a solution where I can still have natural hair but it's low maintenance so I think dreadlocks is a good solution for me. I'm wearing a traditional afro, not the messy ones you see on the street, the ones where people take the time look after it and comb it out. I think natural hair is very important. My definition of good hair is natural, long and just look well looked after. Good hair by having soft uh, and long and like combable. Smooth and soft and nice and pretty. <laughs> good hair has to be hair that's like, it's wavy and it's got like, when you walk, it moves and it's flowy and it's soft and yeah, that's good hair. Well, I have kinky hair, so. It's, I can do a lot with it, but because I'm lazy, I don't. And it's a good hair, it's good to have, because it like stays in place and stuff. But it's just effort. White people's hair is kind of tough, tight, kind of different to white people's hair. Because they don't have to grease their hair or anything, they just wash and go, whereas we have to grease our scalp and moisturise it every day and stuff. If it was me, I would be choosing Indian Remy, mate. Indian or Brazilian or Malaysian hair. Yeah. Definitely Brazilian. Yeah, Brazilian. It would be kind of like maybe curly, like West Indian hair. Um, big curls, quite long. I think black people do, some of them do embrace their hair enough, but like some don't like showing their hair out. I think girls that wear weaves, they look great sometimes when they wear it. Um, I don't think it should be considered as a permanent solution. I think it's one of those things, it's like an outfit. I like girls that feel confident. Whether, they have, whether they're bold or they have hair, if I see confidence in them, then I like them. I think when you're not confident with something, you can tell. I don't like girls who are rocking weaves and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera but they're highly self-conscious and they're not able to be themselves. I don't think enough people embrace natural hair. I think a lot of people are the slaves to expectations in that they'll wear something that isn't necessarily as important as it's made out to be. So a lot of the styles that are encouraged are styles which will promote a certain business area as opposed to someone's actual needs as a person. And I don't like that we have to cover up to be accepted. I think if we went back to, to how we used to, to really express ourselves and through our individuality and our own style and what we're actually about, I think we'd be a lot happy instead of covering up our natural hair and stopping it from growing and really thriving as it should do. We're just going to look back when we're older and regret it, I think.